Tel Adashim, Kfar Gideon, Mizra, and Balforia. Tel Adashim, started in 1913 by members of the Hashomer organization, with the aim of settling and maintaining the oil line from Iraq to Haifa. After about four years, the settlers split up and most of them left. In 1923, 40 families established a workers' mashiv. The place is named after Tel Adash, an Arab settlement that was in the area and abandoned. Over the years, until the establishment of the State of Israel, Tel Adashim suffered from many attacks that came from the neighboring Arab settlement of Ixal. Kfar Gideon was founded by ultra-Orthodox Jewish immigrants from Transylvania, Romania, who belonged to the Hapoel Mizrahi movement. They first stayed at Tel Adashim. And in the same year that Tel Adashim was established, they established Tel Adashim II, and changed its name to the village of Gideon, named after Judge Gideon, who is mentioned in the Book of Judges and fought in the Jezreel Valley. After the establishment of the State of Israel, more settlers came, and the settlement was divided between groups of ultra-Orthodox and traditionalists. Kibbutz Mizra was also established in 1923 by members of the Third Aliyah, joined by members of Hashomer Hatzair. The kibbutz was built on ruins, Rubba al Nazra, and is named after an ancient mound called Horbat al Mizra'a, which means farm. The kibbutz had the Palmic headquarters, which was captured by the British on Black Saturday. After the establishment of the state, a Mizra Delhi was built which is known for being the first in the new Jewish state to sell pork. Mashiv Balforia, started by the American Zion Company, which dealt with the settlement of Jews in Israel. In 1919 a first group came, and established an agricultural farm. After problems in raising funds, the land passed to the Jewish National Fund. In 1922 the Mashiv was established, named after Lord Balfour, who was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and after which the Balfour Declaration was named. The declaration announced that it would support the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Israel. Three years later, Lord Balfour visited the Mashiv, accompanied by Zionist leaders in Israel.